Hi, this is Mark. I've decided to refresh some of my old Cisco skills, so I'm adding a Cisco IOU virtual machine to my Oracle VM virtual box. Now, I've already added the hard drive itself, and now I'm following some uh, self notes in regards to how I need to set up the configuration. So what I've done all done is added a virtual host only Ethernet adapter. I think this is probably the default. I configured it to have an actual IP address on my network, 1.47. Uh, I took away the DC, DHCP server option for that because it's really just something that gets in the way. Uh, my directions said to add two more adapters, host only adapter, so here's the second one. Um, I need to change the IP address on this one to 10 10 10 160. Click on OK. Come back here to add another host. Apparently it's taking its time. Uh, yes, we want to continue anyway. And this will take a while. Okay, the third one has been created. We will need to modify it to 192.168.20.160. And let's double check the DHCP server. Yes, it's not enabled, so that's a good thing. And we'll go ahead and click on OK, and then OK our way out. And let's go ahead and start our Cisco IOU, see what happens to it. Okay, it's starting the grub. It is loading the Linux. Okay, and now we are at the uh, log on screen, but before we even bother with that, I'm going to come up here to devices, network adapters, make certain our adapter one is set to bridged, which it is, adapter two is host only, adapter three is host only. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and click on OK. And make our way to the login and log in as root with a password all lowercase f l y x j dot e n. Now that's not my password, that's the default one. Oops, long it incorrect. Oh it's C N. C N. Sorry, I don't know why I was thinking it was E N. Here we go again. Okay, it liked that one better. I'm sure glad it was kind enough to tell me the password at the login screen, otherwise I would have spent days researching that. Okay, anyway, um, I have to do one other thing for my configuration real quickly. And that one other thing is to configure the ETHO port. So I do an IF config ETHO to the IP address I want, tell it I'm about to enter the net mask, give it a classy net mask, and then tell it to start with the command up. And that should take care of that portion. Now we have to change to the lab directory. I think it's all caps. And show so we can see what's going on. Okay, everything is read as expected because I haven't started anything. But now let's see if I can ping out. Okay, getting responses, so that's good. Now let's see if I can ping in. Getting a response, so that's good. So now I could go ahead and play around, but that's the end of this video. Thank you. Bye.